This video is a compilation of my three coolest mob battles. Enjoy! Today, I'm doing a Minecraft mob battle with my friend. But any mob we draw turns to life. For example, if I go to my canvas and I draw a tiny little baby ender dragon and then go to this lever and pull it like this, it'll spawn that exact mob in. Look, it's a tiny little baby ender dragon. We'll be able to draw literally any mob. So this is going to be so insane. But before we start, let me tell you about today's sponsor, Honkai Impact 3rd. Honkai Impact 3rd is a free-to-play action RPG game. This game is awesome because of its insane combat mechanics and its beautiful graphics. But just recently, on May 18th, the new 6.6 .6 version of Honkai Impact was released with new stories, characters, and activities. Now is the perfect time to start playing with the fun new combat system for the main story, Inscribed the Whisper. Also, in this new version, our old friend Hare is finally hopping on board. Her battlesuit, Dreamweaver, has a special ability when she casts her ultimate, where she can pull enemies into a dreamscape wielding a javelin for close combat. And in the new 6.6 .6 update, there's tons of new events like Teriri's Magical Quest. Also, if you complete the Merry Market event, you'll get tons of new outfits like this awesome green outfit for I. Remember, this is all available now in the new 6.6 .6 update. Download Honkai Impact 3rd today. Check the pin comment and link to start playing this awesome game. Also, use the code on the screen to get 30 crystals, 2,888 asteries, and one character trial card for free. Anyway, Smirky, are you ready to start the mob battle? Yes, I am, Gordy, and I'm totally gonna draw way better mobs than you. We will see about that, Smirky. Anyways, let the battle begin! And now that the battle has officially begun, I think we should start off by cheating with this massive one-way glass wall. And this way, I'll be able to see whatever mob Smirky draws on his canvas. And then we'll be able to draw an even better mob than what he has. And wait, I think Smirky's starting to draw his thing. And wait, what is Smirky drawing? I gave him like 30 seconds and he's starting to make this gray and red monster thing. And wait a second, I think he's even drawing arms on it. Oh my gosh. Okay, we're gonna have to see this thing when it's finished. And whoa, I think he's getting close to done because this looks like some floating skeleton god. And look, it looks super muscular and it even has an evil angry face on it. And wait, I think Smirky's finished because he's not holding his palette anymore. And wait a second. I wonder what this is gonna turn into. I mean, it's kind of dark. So maybe it'll turn into some sort of skeleton king because it has little red things coming out the top. But I guess we're gonna have to see and he's pulling it. And what is this thing? Look at what just spawned in. It's a massive floating wither skeleton. And it has a massive blood red sword. Okay, this thing is scary. And it looks like it even made the entire arena darker. I think the sky is a little darker than it was before Smirky flipped that level. This thing is truly scary, and it is not going to be easy to defeat. But lucky for me, I think I know how I can defeat this thing, and I just got to get to my little canvas over here. So I got my little paintbrush palette, and I think we're just going to right-click this canvas right now. I literally kind of want to draw a massive floating flying mob just like Smirky. But for my floating flying mob, it's not just going to be an ordinary skeleton. Oh, no, 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 because right now I am drawing a super crazy hand monster with five fingers. Look at this thing. It is so cool looking. And now I'm literally gonna add a little wristband on this thing just to make it really cool and have some red. Because red will make it super evil. And I'm pretty sure that's how it works. So I'm just gonna add some little red dots down here. And I think this is pretty cool. But then I don't just want to draw a giant flying hand monster. I also want to add a massive eye in the middle of it. And whoa, this thing is gonna look super duper cool. And I think I might even make the eye a little bit red just in that middle. And whoa, okay. This thing has got to be like super cursed or something. Because look at this hand monster. That is a scary piece of artwork. But remember, guys, we're trying to draw something that can defeat that massive floating wither skeleton king Smirky has. And I think this hand monster should definitely do the trick. And I think we need to just get next to this lever and pull the lever. So, Mr. Painting, you really, really need to turn into a crazy monster. And I think you should. So, let's flip the lever. Three, two, one, and here we go. And, uh, I think it might have worked because look at this this is the back of the hand but wait i gotta see the front of it is the eye that i drew gonna be here and yes the eye that i drew is definitely here and whoa this is even cooler than the drawing like look it has those little red dots at the bottom like i drew and even has some red lines but then it also added these red lines on the palm next to the eye this thing is super cool i am so happy that we got a mob this powerful and look let's just give it a little high five and uh oh i just punched its eye mr end monster i'm sorry for punching her I don't get mad at me. 
But I think we should be good. And I bet this guy has some insane attacks where he can literally turn into a fist and fly around and just do cool stuff. So we're gonna have to wait till the mob battle to see this insane fight take place. Anyway, Smirky, how is your mob army going this round? My mob army is going super duper 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 good. What kind of mob did you draw? Could you please give me a hint? Uh, well, I drew a really buff, like, skeleton kind of thing, and it made it into a king. Wait, really? That's super cool. Well, I drew, like, some sort of hand monster, and it's flying, and I know that doesn't sound that good, but you're just gonna have to wait and see this thing. All right, Cardi, well, I am ready to see it whenever you're ready to drop the walls. Well, Smirky, I'm ready to drop the walls, so let's drop them in three, two, one, and here we go, and whoa! Let's go! And what is this, Cardi? Is this literally a hand? Okay, my king has, like, two hands, Cardi. You're gonna lose. Smirky, are you sure about that? Because my hand's turning into a fist and flying and bashing into your monster. Well, how is it my monster doing damage to it? I think it's because my hand is so strong and it can only take damage if it gets hit in the eye in the middle of it. What? No, that has to be cheating, Cardi. I'm gonna go punch it in its eye. Smirky, that's not gonna do anything because my guy's just comboing your guy. He cannot even do anything to defend himself. What? But look at my mom. Did you see that flamethrower attack he just had? I know. I saw that, Smirky, but I'm pretty sure my hand is made out of fire because he cannot take damage and whoa, it just knocked your guy off the map. There's no way it just pushed it off the map and it's probably dead down there anyways. Yeah, Smirky, I think it's definitely dead. And look, the sky is clearing up and my hand monster was victorious. What? I'm gonna punch it in its eye some more. Stop, Smirky. Okay, let's reset the arena. Let's go. And boom, I just won the first round. But guys, don't leave because that was literally the first round. We have some insane mobs that we need to draw with our canvases. But before we draw our mob, we need to check on Smirky's mob. And what is he drawing? It looks like he's drawing some sort of pink X and then some squares around it. Okay, let's just wait a second to see what this turns into. And wait, what is this turning into? I think that X turned into some sort of body. And look, there's like little skeleton heads coming out of it or something like that. That is super duper weird, but is he gonna try anything else? And whoa, look at this. I think he drew like four blue arms coming out of it, and this thing is super spooky. But this is probably gonna turn into a really cool boss because this canvas mod has a really good AI and it can detect any cool mob. But let's see what this is gonna turn into, and he's pulling the lever. And oh my gosh, that actually worked. This is like actually a crazy skeleton monster, and it looks like there's even a bunch of skeleton skulls in his body, just like his drawing has. And look, there's definitely those four blue arms coming out of it. Because this thing has four arms and some super sharp fingers. Oh my gosh. This thing is gonna have insane attacks. I already know it. And that means we're going to need to draw something that can count to this guy exactly. And I'm happy that we have this one-way glass wall because this gives me a perfect idea. So let's go over to our canvas and right-click it. And now we are going to draw a mob just like Smirkies. And if you're wondering what I mean by just like Smirkies, well, I'm gonna draw a mob that has a bunch of skeleton skulls all around it, just like he did. But mine's not just gonna be a tiny little skeleton with four arms, it's gonna be a massive skeleton knight. And I'm just gonna have to show you guys. Let me just draw this real quick. I'm just drawing a bunch of circles, and then I'm gonna go in and draw some little faces on each of them. And there we go. And now I'm just gonna draw some massive knight legs like this, add some arms just like this, and then we'll draw a little head just like this. And then I want to add some horns coming out of it just to make it look even cooler. And then we're just going to add some color variations on this thing just to make it a little bit more powerful. So I'll get back to you when I'm done with that. And as you can see, I added a little bit of pink on its arms and I added a giant red cape. And now we're just going to draw a giant black hammer just to make this guy have some really cool attacks. And okay, hopefully the drawing mod will pick this up as a hammer because this doesn't really look like a hammer. But then let's just add a little bit of blue here and I think this should be good. Look at this drawing. It is so cool. And it should be the perfect counter for Smirky's mob. And I cannot wait to see this thing turn into the mob. So let's just do this in three, two, one, and let's pull the lever. And I think it might work because look at this mob. This is insane. This thing is exactly what I wanted, but even cooler. Because look, it's a, it has these giant night legs, a giant red cape, all these skeleton souls on its body, and the massive giant black 
Amber! I could not have wished for a better mob than this, and I'm so happy that I got this thing. And normally, I would like to test this guy's attacks, but since he is just so much bigger and better than this mob smirk he has, I think we should be good. And look, there's even some sort of, like, soul heart thing inside of it. I don't even know what that is, but that probably just means it's even more powerful than I think. Anyway, Smirky, how is your mob army going? Because I think I might have drawn a way better mob than yours. Courtney, there is a 0% chance that you drew a better mob than me. I'm just gonna let you know that. What, what do you mean? A 0% chance, Smirky? I'm looking at your drawing right now, and compared to mine, it is so trash. Courtney, how are you even looking at my drawing? Do you not see the giant, like, bedrock wall here? Oh, I forgot about the bedrock wall, and yes, Smirky, I was just kidding about seeing your drawing. Obviously, I can't see your drawing through the bedrock wall. Oh, okay. Well, anyways, I'm ready to drop the walls. Are you? Yes, I am. Let's drop them in three, two, one, and let the battle begin. And, oh, Smirky, I think your mom's already about to die because look at my thing. What is this guy? This kind of looks like my mom, but a little bit better, but not a lot of bit better. It looks kind of trash, to be honest. You think this looks trash because he literally just summoned in minions that are literally healing him, I think. What? Get those minions out of here. This is so crazy. And look, he is just slowly stomping over to your mom. And oh, he's going to do an attack. And what? Wait, did it kill it in one hit? What What just happened? <laughs> what, Smirky? That was insane. And look at my guy. He's just bashing his hammer against the floor. He just killed his own minions. Why did he kill his own minions? You know what, Cardi? I have an idea. What's your idea, Smirky? I think I need to put a stop to this guy myself. Wait, you're going to try and fight him, Smirky? Yep, I'm going to go and kill him. Smirky, you're getting destroyed. I can barely see anything, but oh my gosh, he just died. What? Are you kidding me? Let's just reset the arena, and I just won the second round. Let's go. All right, Cardi. And boom, I just won a round. And that was so cool. My mob was insane during that round, but I'm just gonna draw even better mobs as the video goes on. And before I draw my next mob, let's see what Smirky's gonna draw. And look, Smirky's starting to draw his mob, and it looks like it's a little brown circle thing there, but I guess we're just gonna have to wait till he is completely done with it. And after a little while, it looks like that circle thing turned into some hooded monster and he even added some red eyes on this thing. But wait, this is kind of trash. Is he gonna draw anything else on this? And it looks like he might be starting to draw some sort of sword. And wait a second, that sword is massive. He's giving this tiny little skeleton guy a massive giant black sword. And whoa, this thing is probably gonna be really powerful. But I guess he's done because he's not painting anymore. And I think he's gonna start pulling that lever. And he's pulling it. And what on earth is that thing? I guess it actually worked. It just spotted a little skeleton hooded monster with a massive sword. And look, it's even glowing red. That is pretty cool. But wait, Smirky's going back to the lever and he's pulling it even more. And oh my gosh, it just flipped it more times and even more of them spotted. Some of them have massive sights now. I don't even know how these guys have sights because he didn't even draw that. I guess these guys are just super crazy. And okay, these are gonna be hard to defeat with their massive weapons. But I think I know exactly what I want to draw to counter these guys. So let's head over to our canvas and right click this thing. And now what I want to draw is actually a super giant crazy plant monster. And so right there, I just drew a little bit of a stem. And then right now I'm adding these massive pink petals to do the base of the flower. A little yellow thing in the middle to act as its little pollen area. And then what I want to start doing is adding massive spikes all around this flower. And what these spikes are going to allow it to do is make sure that no mob can get near it at all because it's just gonna spike them all if they get too close. So I'm gonna add literally massive spikes everywhere. Like, I am not gonna go underkill with these spikes. I'm going to go extremely overkill and here we go. There are so many spikes all over this thing. And I think this is pretty cool. I guess the drawing isn't that good because the flower looks a little bit deformed. But it should be good enough for the mod to pick it up and understand exactly what I drew and spot a crazy OP boss. So let's just flip this lever and three... Two, one, and here we go. And I think it might have worked because look at these spikes. I haven't even looked up at the top of the flower, but this thing is already insane. But now let's just look up and whoa. This thing is so cool. And look, it has the pink petals just like I drew. Now this thing is absolutely insane. And there is no way that this thing doesn't have OP attacks. Like, wait, I actually have to test this out. I'm gonna go in survival mode near this thing. And uh, hello, Mr. Flower. I mean, it's looking everywhere I go. And wait, why is it going? underground. And wait, it's shooting up massive spikes out the floor. Oh my gosh. 
gosh. This thing is insane. Hey, stop trying to kill me, Mr. Flower. And wait, what's it doing now? It's doing more spike attacks. Oh my gosh, there's so many spikes. I gotta go in creative mode before I die. And okay, I don't think we even need to worry about spawning in any more than a single one of these flowers. This should definitely be enough to kill all of these things Smirky has. And Smirky, how is your army going this round? My army is going super duper duper good. I made my mobs have some really cool weapons. Oh, you made your mobs have really cool weapons? Are they like super big or something? Uh, I mean, yeah, they're pretty tall, Cardi. I think they're literally as tall as yourself. Wait, really, Smirky? Let me take a guess at what kind of weapons your mobs have. I bet they have massive swords and massive scythes. Wait, how do you know? Uh, there's literally so many mobs that have massive weapons, Cardi. Well, Smirky, your mobs are glowing, and that's how I knew, actually. What? Are you kidding me? That's how you know, because they're glowing. Yup, I can literally see they're glowing through blocks, and that means I can see them through this bedrock wall. Oh my gosh, I can't believe it. I should have got rid of their effects. <laughs> Smirky, let's just drop the walls in three, two, one, and here we go. And do you see this crazy boss I have? What is this? Cardi, wait, what is this, Cardi? This is literally a flower. I know, this is just a flower, Smirky, but look, all your mobs are trying to attack it, and look, the spikes are just pricking them to death. What? Wait, so do you need to go destroy these? Oh my gosh, I'm getting rid of them. Hey, Smirky, you can't destroy these. That's cheating. But anyways, it doesn't really matter because I think all of your mobs are already destroyed. Are you kidding me, Cardi? There is no way you won that easily. Well, Smirky, just take a look for yourself. I definitely did win that easily because my mob is still standing here and I think we need to reset the arena. Yeah, I think we need to reset the arena as well. Let's go. And I just won yet another round and I can't wait for these final two rounds because things are just about to get super, super crazy. But anyways, let's see what Smirky's gonna draw. And I think he's already drawing his mob. Because look, he has some sort of brown belt thing there. And look, he's adding a little bit of green to it. So I think we're just gonna have to wait a second to see what this turns into. And look at this thing. It's turning into some sort of troll monster. And it's like has these massive green legs and this massive green stomach. And look, I think he's adding a head to it now because he just made a little face on it and he's adding little teeth to it. And wait, I think Smirky's done with it because now he's not painting anymore and I think he's gonna pull that lever. And oh my gosh, look at these things. There's like a thousand of them. This is not good for me at all because some of these guys are super big and some of them are really small. Look at those. These are so cool though. I mean, they have these massive teeth and they look kind of goofy, but I bet they're really, really strong because Smirky drew some really big muscles on them. So we're gonna need some sort of magic skeleton monster to kill all of these guys. So that's exactly what I'm gonna draw. So let's just go over to our little handy canvas right here and click this. And now, I'm just gonna start off by drawing this little skeleton. So let's give him some arms. And we're gonna make this guy a wither skeleton just so he's even more powerful. And then we're gonna go down and add the body. And then we'll add a little skeleton rib cage, Just like that. I think that's good. And then let's add a little skeleton head to this guy. And we wanna make this a king skeleton. So we're gonna give him a little blue crown just like this. I think that's pretty cool looking. And now we're just gonna give this guy a little skeleton face like this. And now he doesn't really look cool enough. So I think I gotta add a giant staff to him and make this thing super cool. Add a little box like that. And then we need to give this guy some giant red robes. And this is just gonna make him even more powerful because super powerful people wear red robes. So let's add these like this. And then add a little bit of a cape to him. And okay, I kinda just covered him entirely in red. But this should make him really, really cool looking. I think we just gotta flip this lever and see what this turns into. So let's flip this in three, two, one, and here we go. And oh my gosh, what is this thing? This is not what I was expecting to spawn in, but look at the floor. It's making the entire grass into this withered grass block stuff, and it's literally making smoke come out of it. What are you doing, mister? Is everywhere it walks, it turns this grass into purple for some reason. I don't know why that's happening or why this thing is super scary looking. But he should definitely be very, very, very powerful in battle against all of these trolls. Anyway, Smirky, I don't really think you're ready for this round because I have an insane boss. Cordy, I don't think you're ready for this round because I have an even better mob and I have a lot of mobs. Uh, Smirky, I don't think your mob is gonna win if I'm being honest with you. Oh, no, are you kidding me? Yeah, they're definitely gonna win, Cordy. They are super duper good and super duper green. Well, I guess we're gonna have to wait for the mob battle to see who's actually gonna win. And let's drop the walls in three, two, one. And here we go. And oh my gosh. 
gosh, Marky! What is this? Okay, I'm probably gonna lose. What are these attacks I can do? And my guys aren't doing any damage. I know it. Look at my guy just teleporting around and throwing crazy attacks at your mobs. What? Oh my gosh, that's crazy. It's only a matter of time before they all die. And there's other stuff like witches and wither skeletons alive too. Yeah, I think my boss has crazy attacks where he can spot in more mobs. Like there's a brown mushroom cow here. I don't even know what's going on, Smirky. Oh my gosh, that is crazy, Cardi. There is no way I'm about to lose. I have like 50 mobs. Smirky, there's even lightning attacks. It's so much stuff happening. He's just waving his wand around and winning this battle completely. Completely. Yeah, you're right about that. Are any of my guys even alive? Except, like, the one guy all the way over here. Yeah, this is the only one left, I think. And, oh, my gosh. And, yeah, I think my guy is completely fine. And I think it just killed all your stuff. Are you kidding me? There is no way. Well, Smirky, I think there is a way. And I think we need to move on to the final round of the mob battle. All right. Well, I'm going to bring it back. And I am definitely going to win. I guess we'll see about that. Let's raise that there, Rita. And here we go. We are on the last round of the mob battle. And I am super excited for this round because I have one of my favorite mobs ever I'm gonna draw. But anyways, it looks like Smirky's drawing his mob, and while he's drawing this, I'm actually gonna draw my mob. And then when I'm done drawing my mob, we'll check in with each other and see who has the better drawing, and then we'll flip our levers. But for the mob I wanna draw, I'm gonna do a super duper crazy blackstone golem. So I'm gonna add some black arms like this, and then a giant black body. And then let me add some black legs and then another arm. And this guy is literally made out of blackstone. So that means he is super powerful. So let's add a little head on this guy. And then we'll add a villager nose. Add some eyes like this. And now we need to add some texture to this guy. So we're gonna add little lava lines going all around his body. Just like this. And I think this is going to be really, really cool when we spot this thing in. Because it'll be an iron golem with a bunch of fire attacks. Let's add some fire all around it just to make sure this mod knows exactly what I'm trying to draw. All right, I think this is pretty cool, and I think we are done with this drawing. And okay, this looks kind of trash now that I'm looking at it, but it should be really, really cool. But for this final round, I also want to draw something else, and this is going to be super crazy. So let me get this other canvas open, and I'm actually going to draw one of the most insane things ever, and you guys are about to be really surprised. And as you can see, I made a giant red thing. And now I need to add the finishing touches. And I think I'm done drawing, and I just drew a sub subscribe button. And this is definitely a sign, guys. You all need to subscribe to the channel right now. Please subscribe. A lot of you guys watch all the videos, but you're not subscribed, so please subscribe. I'll give you three seconds. And at the end of the countdown, you need to subscribe, so get ready. Three, two, one, and thank you for subscribing. And anyways, let's see what Smirky has drawn, and what on earth is this thing? This is like a crazy piglin monster with brown pants. I don't even know what this thing is. But I think he's pulling the lever. And what on earth are these things? He spotted a bunch of piglet monsters. These things are super cool mutant piglins. And I think we need to pull our lever for our mob now. And I really hope this turns into something cool. So let's pull this right now. And oh my gosh, look at this thing. It did exactly what I drew, but made it even cooler. And okay, I think we're definitely gonna win. Because look at this guy compared to Smirky's mobs. And okay, we might have to pull this lever a few more times because I just realized Smirky has a bunch of mobs. Let's flip this lever like 10 more times. So let's go. And look, we got like 10 of these black stone golems. And ah, uh, Smirky, I don't think you're gonna win. Are you ready to drop the walls though? Yes, I am. Let's go. All right, let's go. And look, our mobs are gonna start fighting now. Whoa, what is this? Cardi, are these black stone mobs? Yes, they are. They're black stone golems and they have crazy fire going across their entire body and they're destroying your piglins around. Oh my gosh, and almost all of them are gone, Cardi. What is happening? This is really sad for you. I think this is gonna be one of the easiest wins ever for me, and there we go. That was the easiest round ever, and I just won the final round. But wait, the compilation isn't over, and the next mob battle is even more insane. Let's go. Today, I'm doing a Minecraft mob battle with my friend, but we're in the god dimension. And because we're in the god dimension, we have this god pose. Ocean, that when we throw it onto a normal mob, it turns it into its godly variant. Look at this guy. He is so cool. Oh my gosh. So, Smirky, are you ready for the mob battle? Yes, I am, Cordy, and I'm totally gonna spawn.
spawn in way better mobs. We'll see about that. And anyways, let the battle begin. And now that the battle has officially begun, we can start off by cheating. And we actually have this massive one-way glass wall set up right here. So on Smirky's side, it's gonna be bedrock, and we can see through this wall and spotted the exact counters to Smirky. And oh my gosh, what did he spawn in? He spotted some crazy skeleton warrior god? I don't even know what this guy is, but he is super, super cool looking. And the thing is, Smirky does not have access to this god potion. So he's not gonna be able to turn his mob into its god variant, which is really good for us, because we'll be able to spot in way, way better mobs than him. And since he kind of has this skeleton looking monster, I kind of want to spawn in a skeleton too. So I'm just gonna spot a skeleton in the water right here, just so he doesn't burn from the daylight. And remember, we're definitely not just gonna have this super weak skeleton. We are going to throw the god potion onto it to turn it into the most powerful version of itself. And the god version of the skeleton will definitely be more powerful than Smirky's skeleton mob. So let's just get our potion and throw this in three, two, one, and let's see the god variant. And oh my gosh, is this the god version of a skeleton? I think it is. And this is one of the most insane mobs I've ever seen in my life. I mean, just look at them. Yes, these four giant arms, a floating skeleton skull, and skeleton skulls all around his body, all enclosed by this purple pink encasing, keeping it all closed in. And remember, since this is a god variant, this thing has some crazy attacks. And I probably won't even be able to test them all, but I'm just gonna try and test a few. So let me go into survival mode real quick. And mister, uh, do you do any cool attacks? Wait, maybe if I punch it? And wait, what is it doing? Oh my gosh! Is it literally shooting a laser at me right now? What on earth? That does so much damage! And look, it can even make these mounts come out of the floor to eat you from the bottom of the world! These are crazy magic attacks and wait, I gotta go in creative mode before I die! Okay, that was pretty close. And as you can see, that was just his weakest attacks. This guy has some crazy, crazy attacks and that was only just the beginning. This is gonna be such a cool mob battle to watch. And I think Smirky might have spawned his mob in again. Oh my gosh, I'm just looking at this thing again and it is super scary. It even has like dog fur on its shoulder for clothes. Oh my gosh. Well, anyway, Smirky, how is your mob army going this round? Gordy, my army is going super duper good this time. Smirky, your army is going super duper good? What kind of mob did you spawn in? Because I have a really, really cool skeleton monster. A really cool skeleton monster? Wait, what are the chances that I also have a cool skeleton monster and I bet it's cooler because it also has armor. Wait, you also have a skeleton monster and your guy has armor? Well, you have no idea what my skeleton monster looks like. And anyways, are you ready to drop the walls? Yes, Cordy, I am ready to drop the walls. Well, then let's go and oh my gosh, I think our mobs are about to fight Smirky. Yeah, they definitely are. Whoa, look at these attacks. Look at my guy. I think he's spawning in these purple soul zombies and he's even doing all his crazy magic attacks on your guy. You're right. And Cardi, look at the attacks that your guy can do. Okay, my guy needs to go and hit your mom with a sword. Smarky, your guy has a sword. He is so old fashioned. A sword is no match for my magic powers that my mom has. My sword definitely is a match, Cardi, because it's an iron sword. Uh an iron sword, Smirky. He even has a wooden shield. Your skeleton is so trash that it's just getting eaten alive from the mouths coming out the floor. And wait, Smirky, I think it just died. And wait, what the heck? Do you see what it spawned in once it died? Wait, you're right. What is this? Wait, is this my mom or your mom? I think that's your mom. I think when your mom dies, it spawns in this super scary ghost monster. And wait, are you actually gonna have a chance to win? I definitely will because this guy looks even powerful than the guy I spawned in. Well, yeah, yeah, this guy's definitely more powerful than the guy you started with, but I still think he's gonna die because my guy just has crazy laser attacks. Oh my gosh, you're right about that. And wait, my guy's on under half health already. Are you kidding me? And Smirky, he is not just on under half health now. He is dead. And oh my gosh, I don't see any boss bar at the top of the screen. That means I just won. There is no way you won from that, Cordy. Oh my gosh. Okay, I need to go and spawn in a way better mob, I guess. Yes, you definitely do and let's go on to the next round of course and boom we are now on the second round of the mob battle but wait why is the arena starting to turn into this white color wait i think this is becoming more and more of the god dimension every single
single round that happens. This means my god potion is gonna get more and more powerful as each round goes on. This is gonna be awesome. Well, before I can use my new and approved god potion, we need to look through this one-way glass so we can know exactly what counter we need to spawn in. And wait, what is this? Smirky spawning in these giant mutant piglin beasts. These guys are so cool. They even have this big banner on their back. These must be like tribe leaders. Oh my gosh. Well, I think I know how we can defeat these guys. And just like last round, we're gonna start with a super basic mob, which is a zombie. And before he burns to death, we actually need to give this guy a helmet and there we go. Now he will not take damage from the sunlight and this is gonna be awesome. But since we gave this guy an iron helmet, why don't we just give him full iron armor at this point to make him into the ultimate iron armor zombie. And I'm pretty sure this will give a special effect to the god potion to maybe turn us into some super cool knight mob because knights wear full iron armor. So when we throw this god potion onto it, it will turn into a super godly zombie knight or at least I hope so. But I guess we'll just have to wait and see. So let's throw this in three, two, one, and here we go. And oh my gosh, what spawned in? This mob is enormous. This is like 10 times bigger than me. The bottom of its leg is literally bigger than me. This thing is so cool. And look at the massive hammer it has. This probably will do so much damage. And just like my last mob, this thing even has skeleton skulls all around its body. Well, that must be a common theme in really, really godly OP mobs. And if you thought my last mob's attacks were cool, you're just gonna have to wait and see this mob's attacks because if this thing can't one-shot all of these mutant piglets smirky ass, I don't know what will. But just to 100% make sure that this guy has the attacks I think he does. Let's just spawn in a practice wither so we can test his attacks on it. So let's just spawn this in like that. Set this on a team. Set this on a team. And now they should start to fight it. Oh my gosh, what just happened? He spotted these little minions to heal him. And look, the wither's alive and I wonder if my knight's gonna do anything. Oh, and I think he definitely did something because that wither just died right in front of my eyes. I have never seen a wither die that quickly. And we barely got to see any of this knight's attack. So that so if this knight just used its weakest attack on that wither and it insta killed it, I cannot even imagine what other attacks it has. Well, I guess this is what you get when you throw god potions on mobs. And Smirky, how is your army going in this second round? Well, I have made a giant army of really strong mutants. Wait, really strong mutant, Smirky? Did you use mutant zombies or maybe mutant piglins? Okay, well, the first one was wrong, but how did you guess me? Muted piglins. There are so many muted mobs. Well, I guess I just took a really, really lucky guess because there's a massive bedrock wall in the middle. There is no way that I'd be able to cheat Smirky. Oh, I guess you're right. Well, that's weird you guess piglins, but yeah, that is what I spawned in. Well, Smirky, since you think you have a very powerful mob, I guess we're just gonna need to drop the walls and you'll see what mob I spawned in. All right, Cardi. Well, in that case, I'm ready to drop the walls. Then let's go in. Oh, Oh my gosh, I think our mobs are about to start fighting each other. And do you see my mob? Yes, I see your mob. That's crazy. And look, it's even summoning in these little minions to literally heal it. Oh my gosh. Come on, mister. You need to do an attack and kill these piglins. Oh, I don't think it will do any attacks. And this guy can't even heal it fast enough. And Smirky, I think it's doing its attacks. You better watch out. And oh my gosh, it just launched all your piglins in the air. Oh my gosh, you're right. And it keeps spawning and even more of its minions. And you're right, Smirky. There are so many minions that it cannot even take damage anymore. That has to be cheating, right? No, Smirky. This is its attack. This is completely fair. And so many of your piglets are just taking tons and tons of damage. Oh my gosh, that's crazy. How are they supposed to even kill it? You guys gotta kill its minions. No, Smirky. You cannot push them to kill the minions. These are here for a reason. To help me win the mob battle. Uh-oh. You're about to kill a lot more of my piglins and oh my gosh you're killing so much didn't you start with like 50 of these guys there's only like five now yes i did i started with like over 20 and there is just tons of smoke attacks everywhere and i think that is the end of all your piglins i don't see any around here there's just a bunch of gold on the ground from the items they drop when they die oh my gosh that's crazy we're gonna need to move on to the third round and you better spot in way better mobs to counter mine all right well that case i will spawn in way better mobs let's go and boom we're now on the next round and wait my theory of the arena turning more godly each round is definitely coming true because look at this this place has a bunch more weight blocks 
everywhere than it did last round. And that means our potion is even more powerful this round. I thought last mob was crazy, but I guess it's just gonna get even better. But like we always do, let's start off by cheating with this one-way glass wall. And then we'll throw our potions after. And wait, what are these? It looks like Smirky's spotting at these weird end hoglin monsters. And wait, he's not only spotting these guys in, he's also spotting in these big elephant mammoths. Well, that's really cool. And it looks like Smirky's going with a bunch of really strong animal mobs. Well, I think that means we're just gonna need to choose an even more powerful mob this round. And for the mob I'm gonna spot, I'm gonna spot one of the smallest mobs in all of Minecraft. And I know I said I'd choose a powerful mob and this isn't really that powerful. But remember, we have the round three god potion, which should make this tiny little endermite silverfish creature into a super, super crazy monster. And let me just try and take a guess of what an endermite might turn into. Maybe it'll turn into like a giant slug? Or maybe it'll turn into like an end god? I have no idea. But I guess we're just gonna have to see for ourselves. So let's just throw this potion in three, two, one, and here we go. And look at what that just turned into. Is this like a hand monster? What on earth? That doesn't even make sense. How did this tiny little endermite turn into a hand? Well, I'm not gonna complain because this guy looks really powerful and he even has a massive eye right in the middle there. And look, I can just high five him and oh, this is doing a little bit of damage to him. I'm just punching his eye. I'm sorry, Mr. Hand. Don't get mad at me. But I kind of want to get another one of these guys. So let's just spot in a bunch of these guys and just throw the god potion on all of them. And boom. Now we got three of these hand monsters. Okay, just like we've done with the other mobs, we need to test these attacks because they're probably so cool. So let's just hop in survival mode real quick. And uh oh, I'm on two hearts. Okay, I have to be careful here. And let's just go up to one of these hands and maybe give it a high five. And uh oh, I think it might have woke up. Look at this thing. It's just like floating around me. And is it turning into a fist? Oh my gosh, it just tried to ram into me. And uh oh, I just died. This thing does so much damage. And remember, that was just its weakest attack. So if that's its weakest attack and it's literally turning into a fist, I cannot imagine what else this thing could do. I mean, it could probably even shoot a laser out of that eye because I don't even know why it has an eye, but it has these red things around it, so that probably means it has a special magic attack. These guys will definitely win against Smirky's animal mobs. And speaking of Smirky, uh, Smirky, how is your mob army going on this third round? My army is once again going super duper good, and I think I spotted super duper creepy mobs. Wait, you spotted super creepy mobs, and what do you mean your army is going super, super good once again, Smirky? Your army has never been good ever because I win every mob battle. Uh, I mean, I guess you're right, but I think you just get lucky every time because always your armies are so good, but this time, I swear it's different. Oh, yeah, I just get lucky, Smirky. I'm sure. Well, let's see if I get lucky again in this third round. Are you ready to drop the walls? All right, but I swear if you get lucky again and have a really good good mob. I'm gonna be really sad, Cardi. All right, let's go in three, two, one, and boom. And oh my gosh, do you see my mobs? Yes, I see your mobs in one. These are crazy, Cardi. How did you know to spawn these in? Are these literally like hand bosses? Wait, these aren't that crazy. These look kind of stupid. Smirky, these look stupid. What are you talking about? Look at these guys. They're smashing into your mobs. And oh my gosh, they're all doing it all at once. Wait, you're right. And oh my Oh my gosh, they're killing so many of my guys at a time. Do you see this? Okay, maybe they're not stupid. Yeah, Smirky, they're definitely not stupid, and they can barely take any damage because every time they go in to hit your mobs, they go back up to fly away and stay safe from any attacks. You're right. Wait, that's actually so smart, and why can't my mobs fly? I should spawn in something that flies. Yeah, Smirky, this is a big mistake on your part because you just spotted elephants and stuff, and elephants can definitely not fly. They're way too heavy. Oh my god. You're right, but these aren't elephants, Cardi. These are mammoths. Smirky, those are basically the same thing. They just have these big tusks and they're gonna die anyways. It doesn't matter what you spawn. Look at that. Oh my gosh, you're right. It's killing all my warhogs now. And you only have two left, and that means I just gotta get a couple more swoops from my hands, and there we go. Let's go. I just won the third round. Are you kidding me? And your hands didn't take a single hit of damage. This doesn't even take 
take damage. Let's go, Spanky. You should have just bonded better mobs. Let's go to the next round right now. All right. And boom, we're now on the fourth round. We're getting very close to the end. And you can tell that by how godly the arena is turning. This is the final step before the entire arena completely transforms into the god dimension. And remember, that means our potion is just yet another step closer to being very, very OP. And wait, look at this. Smirky spawning in his mobs. And oh my gosh, these things are massive. Okay, Smirky's actually stepping up his game a lot this time. These are like iron golems, but made out of nether blocks instead. And they have lava flowing down their entire body. Okay, these things probably do some serious damage. And I think that means we're gonna need to spawn in a nether mob too. So let's just grab a normal mob like we've done with the other rounds. And let's just spawn this guy right here. This is a wither skeleton. And remember the first round, we started with a skeleton and it turned into a crazy godly skeleton. Well, since the god potion's even more powerful now, and a wither skeleton's more powerful than a skeleton, this is probably gonna turn into a crazy godly wither skeleton. And I cannot wait any longer. I just gotta see what this thing turns into. So let's throw this in three, two, uh, wait, what is this? Why is there a canvas here that literally has a subscribe button on it? Well, this has got to be a sign. Since so many of you guys watch all the videos, but almost none of you guys are subscribed, please, everyone that is watching this that is not subscribed, just subscribe. And then you'll be able to see even more insane mob battles like this, and then we'll be able to throw this god potion on the skeleton. So everyone, subscribe. I'm gonna give you three seconds. Three two, one, and thanks for subscribing. Now, let's just get straight into throwing this god potion on the wither skeleton. Let's go! And oh my gosh, what hits this thing? This is actually insane. This is like a crazy flying mob. Its arms aren't even connected to its body. They're just floating in midair. And what is this sword? This is probably the craziest blood sword I've ever seen in my life. This guy is probably the second most powerful mob in Minecraft ever. I guess the first most powerful mob will spawn next round. I didn't even want to test this guy's attacks because I already know they're going to be so, so much more powerful than Smirky's Blackstone Golem's attacks. I am not worrying about losing at all. And anyways, Smirky, how is your army going on this fourth round? My army might be the best one that I've done in a long time because finally I found a really good boss. Wait, you found a really good boss? Smirky probably spawned in like Iron Golems or something like that. Okay, there is no way you just said that, Cardi, because I did spawn in a golem. Wait, you spawned in a golem? Did you spawn in a blackstone golem then? How do you know, Cardi? There is no way. There's like so many different golems, like iron golems and... Uh, blackstone golems? Yeah, Smirky, you basically leaked your golem. That's how I knew. I just took a really good guess, and I did not know by any other way. And anyways, are you ready to drop the walls? Yes, Cardi, I guess I am ready to drop the walls. Let's go. Let's go, and oh my gosh, I think my mob's starting to do its attacks on your blackstone golems. Wait, I think you're right, but my guys aren't taking damage, only yours is. Smirky, are you sure about that? Because look at this fireball attacks it's doing, and it just they instantly killed your mob and it spotted these two little baby mobs. There is no way that just happened. And did you see that spin attack he just did? Yes, I saw that smirk and it just killed another one of your mobs. And oh my gosh, this is brutal. Oh my gosh, what kind of sword does this guy have? It's literally killing everything super duper quickly. And even though you have your most powerful mob yet, I am still killing them all. And oh my gosh, it just killed your last one and you just got these two little baby golems now. Oh my. Oh my gosh, you know what? I'm getting rid of your own mob with its own sword. Oh my gosh, Murky, put down the sword because I already won the mob battle and we need to move on to the final round. All right, Cardi, then let's move on to the final round and I still have a chance to win, so let's go. Okay, Smirky, let's go. And boom, we're on the final round and oh my gosh, look at the arena. We have completely transformed into the god dimension and Smirky probably has no idea why everything is white around here because he doesn't even know we're in the god dimension. And anyways, let's see what he's gonna spawn in. And it looks like he's spotting in... What are these things? Are these like little tiny bunny rabbits? What are these? These are so funny looking. Look at their ears and everything. Oh my gosh. Uh, I don't really know why Smirky's spotting these things. And he just fell off the arena while spotting.
spotting them. He is so obsessed with spotting in as many of these guys as he can. And I think that means we're just gonna be able to kill even more mobs. And for the mob, I wanna throw the level five god potion onto. I really like the mob we used last time, which was a wither skeleton. So instead of just using a wither skeleton, let's build ourselves a full on wither mob. Oh my gosh, look at this guy charging up. And if you think this guy's powerful now, you're just gonna have to see him when I throw this god potion on him. And let's just not wait any longer. I gotta see this guy right now. Let's throw this. And oh my gosh, look at this guy. This is truly a really, really cool wither. And I guess it got rid of two of its wither skulls, but it replaced it with this massive cape that's just flowing in the wind. And he is just flying above the ground. Wow, this guy is the coolest mob yet. His name is literally the monarch of chaos. This is truly a level five god mob. And look at the massive staff he has. This guy probably has the craziest attacks out of every single mob in Minecraft. I think it's safe to say this is the most powerful mob in Minecraft. Let's go. And yeah, we're definitely not gonna need to test this guy's attacks because he's gonna test it for us by killing all of Smirky's little rabbits. And Smirky, how is your army going on this final round? Do you think you're gonna be able to win? Yes, Cardi, of course I'll be able to win. I know I've said that every other round, Cardi, but you gotta trust me this round because I spotted really, really insane bosses like Think of the Cosmic Fiend, but 20 times better. Wait, what are you talking about, Smirky? You spotted tiny little rabbits. Cardi, I didn't even give you a hint. How do you know? Smirky, I just took a guess. That's how I knew. I'm just really, really, really good at guessing. Okay, Cardi, this is getting weird, but let's drop the balls, I guess. All right, let's go in three, two, one, and boom. And oh my gosh, Smirky, I think my mom's gonna start killing all of your mobs. Yeah, Cardi, there's no way it's gonna kill all my mobs. Remember what I said? This is like the cosmic feed, but 20, 20, 20 times better. Smirky, my mom is so OP. Look at all the attacks it's doing. It can literally teleport, strike lightning down, and so much more stuff. We are about to see all of this thing's attacks right now. And look, it's waving its watch, spotting in lightning, and setting all of your little bunny rabbits on fire and exploding them and spotting in random mobs. Wait, do you hear the noises my rabbits are making when they're dying? That is so gross. Yes, Smirky, I hear that. I think every single time one of your mobs dies, it does a tiny little quiet fart sound effect. And oh my gosh, this is so funny. Why does it fart when it dies? Why can't it do something useful? There's no way I spawned a mob this bad. Smirky, it can't even defeat the witch that my mob spawned in. That's how powerful my mob is. It just strikes lightning and I think all of your things are dead. Even though you started with like a thousand of them. Actually, there is one right here. Oh, that one's not gonna live though. And that is so gross. Let's go, Smirky. I just won the mob battle. And yeah, there's none of your mobs. Let's go. But it is not over yet because I saved the best mob battle for last. Check this out. It is so insane. Today, I'm doing a Minecraft mob battle with my friend. But where are the astral dimension? And because we're in the astral dimension, we have this astral potion. Then when we throw it on a normal mob like this tiny little slime, it'll turn it into its astral variant. And we're going to be creating crazy astral space mobs. So, Smirky, are you ready to start the mob battle? Yes, I am, Gordy, and I'm gonna spawn in way better astral mobs. We will see about that. Anyways, let the mob battle begin. And now that the mob battle has officially begun, we can start off by cheating with this massive one-way glass wall that I set up. And with this one-way glass wall, we'll be able to see the exact mob Smirky spawns in, and we'll spawn in the exact counters. So, to start off this first round, let's just see what Smirky's gonna spawn in. And wait, look at this. Smirky Smirky's spotting in a bunch of horses. Well, horses are just a default Minecraft mob, so I really wonder what these guys are gonna turn into. I mean, if I were to take a guess, it'd be some sort of mutant astro horse, but I guess we are just gonna have to see, and it looks like Smirky's throwing the potions. And oh my gosh, look at those horses. They definitely just turned into their astral variant. And look, not only did they turn into their astral variant, they got a lot, lot stronger. And that's exactly what this potion does. It can make any normal default bad mob super OP. But just look at these guys. It looks like these horses turned pink and they have these massive iron armor and spikes on them. Okay, these guys are not gonna be easy to kill at all. And we're gonna need to 
think of a super duper OP mob to counter these guys. And I think I have the perfect idea. Let me show you guys. What I'm thinking we spawn in is a zombie. But wait a second. I just realized zombies aren't even that good. And if we want to kill those horses, we're going to need a much stronger mob. Let me just get a sword and kill this zombie real quick. And now for our new mob, we're going to grab a mutant zombie spawn egg. And look at this guy. You can see he's so much stronger than a normal zombie. And when we throw this astro potion on a mutant zombie compared to a normal zombie, it'll become a lot, lot more powerful. And I really gotta see this thing in what it turns into. So I guess, Mr. Zombie, are you ready to turn into a crazy mob that nobody has ever seen before? Well, you better be, because I'm gonna throw this potion on you in three, two, one, and here we go! And wait a second, I think it worked, because look at this thing! I guess that mutant zombie turned into a normal zombie again, but it made it super corrupted. And this is definitely the astro variant, because look at this, it literally has tentacles coming out of it. And look, it even has this black stuff growing all around it. This thing must have a virus or something, because this looks super OP. And look, when we go in survival mode near it, it literally starts to summon fireballs, and wait a second, this thing is OP. I think that is only one of its attacks, though, and this thing is gonna be a lot more stronger, so let me go in creative mode before I die. And here we go, look at this guy, I am so happy that the mutant zombie turned into something this cool and this OP. And what I'm actually gonna do is I'm gonna spot in two more of these mutant zombies, and then I'm gonna throw the astral potions on them again. So let's throw one on this guy, and throw one on this guy. And let's go, look at all these zombies, I have these guys are so cool, and I cannot wait to see these guys in the battle, and to see them destroy Smirky's horse mobs. And yeah, there's no way these horse mobs are gonna win. Uh, Smirky, how is your army going? Cordy, my army is going perfectly! Oh, your armor's going perfectly, Smirky? I hear, like, nays on your side. Wait, did you spawn in some sort of horses that are, like, going nay? Uh, yeah, but they aren't normal horses. You would think they are, but they aren't. Oh, uh, they're not normal horses? Wait, Smirky, did you throw the astro potion on them to turn them into the astral variant? Uh, I mean, yeah, kind of. That is what it spawned in, but I bet you have no idea what their astral variant is. Well, it's probably just like a pink horse with armor or something, Smirky. Yeah, it doesn't sound that good. What? Wait, how do you even know? That's so weird, you know. Ah, uh, Smirky, you don't need to worry about how I know. Are you ready to drop the walls and let the mob battle begin, though? Yes, I am. Let's go. All right, then let's drop them now. Do you see the mobs I spawned in? What is that, Cardi? That is literally like a wither zombie. What is it? Yeah, it's a wither zombie, but look, it literally summoning in these shulker pellets and a bunch of arrows and even more crazy attacks. Look at these guys. Whoa, wait, can they do random stuff like it's shooting fireballs? Yeah, I think they can. And look, they're launching your mob all around and look at this attack they're doing. These guys are crazy. What? That's actually insane. Wait, there's no way all my mobs die because I only have around like half of them left. And Smirky, look, it's making them levitate. It's going to take so much fall damage once its levitation runs out. Oh, no, you're right about that. That's not good. Okay, uh, horse, come on. Please don't take fall damage when you fall. Oh, it definitely is, Smirky. And I cannot believe that you spotted so many of these guys and they're all dying so quickly. Oh, no, I literally only have four left. I know, and oh my gosh, there's like mounts coming out the floor now. What? This is so cool, and even more cursed mobs are spawning. Oh my gosh, you're right, and I think I literally only have three horses left. Yeah, Smirky, I think there's even less now, but some of my mobs are taking a little bit of damage, so I hope I can win in time. Oh, no, that's not good. Oh, come on, horse. Oh. Never mind. Smirky, I think all your horses are dead except this one over here. So let me just grab a chain and pull him into the battle. And Mr. Horsey, you need to fight my mobs. No horse, run away. Let's go. Die, die, die. And yes, your horse just died. And that means I just won the first round of the mob battle. I can't believe it, Cardi. Okay, well, next round, I'm going to use that astral potion and spawn away better mobs. Oh, well, you better, Smirky. Let's reset the arena. And there we go. We just won the first round, but wait, what's happening to the arena? I think the arena is starting to turn even more astral with each round, and I think that means the astral potion is going to be even more powerful as the video goes on, so this is going to be crazy. And wait a second, Sparky spotted a tiny little worm? Wait, what is Sparky thinking? He spotted a worm? There is no way a worm is going to turn into something good, but I guess since the arena is getting powered up, maybe it will turn into something good, so let's see this! And he's throwing it, and oh my 
my gosh, it definitely turned into something good because look at this astral worm. The astral variant of a worm is a literal shadow behemoth or something. I don't know what this is, but it is so scary and has crazy sharp teeth. Oh my gosh. Okay, we are going to have to think of something that can counter this guy and it is not going to be easy. But I think I have an idea. Instead of spotting in a tiny little weak worm mob, what if I spot in an already super OP boss? Just like I did last round. And this time, I'm going to spot in the Robo Warrior. And if you guys don't know the Robo Warrior, well, this guy is a super cool robot with crazy attacks. Like, just look at him. He literally can blow up the arena. But anyways, we need to go up to this guy and we just need to throw the Astro Potion on him. So, Mr. Robot, are you ready to turn into a crazy Astro Robot? And let me just take a guess. I think it'll kind of keep the similar shape to this robot. But I think it'll turn super purple and super OP. So let's just throw this potion on him and see if I'm right. Let's go. And wait, where did my mom go? I don't even see it, but there is a boss bar at the top of the screen. Let me look around and wait. There it is. Look at what my mom turned into. I was completely right. It turned into a purple robot and it kept a similar shape. And look at its head. It literally has four faces. What? And it's just spinning in circles. This thing is absolutely insane. And look, it has like some sort of robot purple control panel in the middle of it. Wait a second. I think that that's its astral heart that's powering its astral variant. That is super duper cool, and I am so happy that we have a very OP boss. And since his arms are so big, he'll be able to smack that giant shadow monster right out of the air. And anyways, wait a second. Smarky has a bunch more of his flying mobs now. And normally, I would want to spot in another one of these guys, but I'm just so confident he is going to win. Because look at the top of the screen. He literally has 300 health. Yeah, this guy will definitely be good enough. And anyways, Smarky. Sparky, how is your mob army going? My mob army is going super duper duper good. I spotted literally probably the most tiny mob ever and it turned it into something insane. That sounds super cool. I mean, I didn't spot a tiny mob, but I spotted a mob and it also turned it super insane. Wait, can I guess what mob you started with? Uh, yeah, I guess you can. Well, I'm just gonna take a random guess because I have no idea because there's a massive bedrock wall in the middle and let me just take a guess. Hmm, maybe you spotted a worm because you did say it was a really tiny mob. Uh, how do you know it's a worm? Well, I guess you're right. I did kind of just say that. Well, anyways, it turned it into something literally insane, Cardi. Wait, really, Swanky? Yeah, I don't know how a worm would turn into something insane, but I guess we're just gonna have to drop the walls. Are you ready? Yes, of course I am. Then let's go and do you see the thing I spotted? What is this, Cardi? Can this mob literally, like, do some insane attacks and get it flying? Why? I think so, Smirky. It literally turned into like a helicopter. And whoa, that is so cool. Why, why can't it turn into a helicopter? I don't even know, but it's just launching your mom super high in the air. And I don't even think it takes fall damage. That is, that, I don't know what to say about that. that I'm just lost for words, Carly. Me too, Smirky. It's literally just killing all your mobs super fast. Look at this. What? That is actually just insane. It's flying so high. Up. Oh my gosh, I think it's even spotting these tiny little orange minions, and that is really cool. I know, Cordy, it's actually really insane. And after about a minute, I think all your mobs are dead, because I just saw a bunch of items drop from the air, and I don't see any of your shadow worms left. Yeah, you're right, I don't see any of them left either. All I see is this helicopter mob. I am so happy that I spawned this thing in. Do you know what it started from? It literally started from one of these robots. What? It's started from one of those robots. Yes, it did, Smirky. And anyways, I'm ready to reset the arena. Yes, I am. Let's go. And boom, I just won the second round. And wait a second, look at the arena. It is definitely turning more and more astral with each round. Like, look, there's even a little bit of pink stuff in the middle here. Well, that's pretty cool. And I think that means our astral potion got another boost. So I cannot wait for these next mobs we're gonna spawn. And wait, let's just see what Smirky's gonna spawn. And what on earth is this? This thing. He spotted some sort of tentacle monster. Wait a second. This looks like some sort of plant. Like, look, it has some purple petals, and this is already a pretty cool astro mob. But what's 
Mikey throws a potion on it, it should turn even more astral. So I guess let's just see what's gonna happen. And he's throwing the potion. And oh my gosh, what on earth did these things turn into? And wait a second, are these tentacles multiplying or something? Wait, I swear there was just two. And wait, so maybe he did spawn with one. Maybe that's these tentacle special attacks. They can literally multiply. Whoa, that is really cool. This means we have to get a crazy mob to kill these guys. And I think I know exactly what crazy mob we need to kill these guys. And so for the mob that I'm going to use to counter these guys, I am going to use a wolf. And yes, I know wolves normally are not that powerful. But I'm pretty sure my wolf will be very powerful. So let me just get an anvil real quick and get a name tag. And what should I name the name tag? This is what the dog will be named. And I think I want to name him Fiend. Because that is a super cool name. And let's just name this guy Fiend like that. There we go. So this is my dog Fiend. And I don't really know why I gave him that name. But it should be really cool. Because when I throw the astral potion onto it, it should take that name into account. And Mr. Doggy, are you ready to turn into a crazy astral monster? Where well, you better be. Because I'm throwing this potion at three, two, one, and here we go. And oh my gosh, what did this thing turn into? It just turned into a crazy cosmic fiend. And let's go. I'm happy I named that dog fiend. Because I guess it turned into the cosmic fiend. I thought the only way to spawn this guy was to spawn in a slime, then throw the astral potion. But I guess name it a dog fiend works too. And this guy is so cool. Because if you don't know, this guy just has some of the most insane attacks in the game. And look at Smirky's tentacles. There are so many now. So I'm happy I got a mob that can counter these guys. And yeah, look at Smirky. He's just getting picked up by his tentacles. Yeah, these things are definitely very OP. Anyway, Smirky, how is your mob army going right now? My mob army is going super duper good, Cardi. I have a lot of really cool mobs. That is cool to hear, Smirky, and I think I might have a cooler mob than you. There is no way your mobs are as cool as mine. Oh, uh, yeah, Cardi, my mobs are definitely as cool as yours. They are super duper cool. Wait, what did you spot in? Did you spot in, like, tentacles or something? Uh, wait, how do you know, Cardi? There is no way you know that I spotted a tentacle. Oh, wait, was I actually right, Smirky? I was just saying a random word, and you actually spotted tentacles? Cardi, there are literally billions of words. How did you guess tentacle? Oh. Oh, I don't even know, Smirky. That is a crazy coincidence. But anyway, Smirky, are you ready to drop these walls? Yes, I am. All right, then let's go and look at my mob, Smirky. What is that? You spawned the cosmic feed already? Yeah, Smirky, I'm sorry, but I didn't know the astral potion would summon this thing this early. What? And it's killing all my tentacles already, but my tentacles can luckily grab it and keep it in place while they do their attack. Oh my gosh, that's actually pretty cool. I've never seen a mob counter a cosmic feed even a little bit because usually the cosmic feed can instantly kill everything. Yeah, well these guys can actually grab them and do damage, so you actually might not win because only one of my tentacles have died. Uh, are you sure, Smirky? My thing has barely lost any health, even though the cosmic feed is getting pulled in by these tentacles a bit. I don't think he's gonna lose. Oh, you might be right. My, come on, tentacles, do some more damage. We almost did 100 damage on the cosmic feed. But Smirky, after a little bit, I got some real bad news for you because it looks like all your tentacles are starting to die. Wait, you're right about that. And I only have two left. No, this is horrible. Smirky, have you ever seen two of any mob ever kill the Cosmic Fiend? Because the Cosmic Fiend has to have a billion mobs to kill it. Actually, yeah, I have seen one mob kill the Cosmic Fiend before, but these guys aren't as strong as that one mob. Yeah, Smirky, I don't think these tentacles are gonna win. And it looks like your final one might have just died, Smirky, because look, it just fell over and turned red and it's gone. What? You're right about that. Oh my gosh, I can't believe it. I know, Smirky, and if we already have a Cosmic Fiend this early, the mobs are literally just gonna get so crazy right now. Oh, you're right. And the mobs that I'm gonna spawn in, Cordy, are gonna be so good. Well, Smirky, let's reset the arena. And let's go. I just won yet another round. And oh my gosh, look at the arena. This thing is turning so astral so fast. And next round, It'll be completely transformed. But but since it's so transformed already, that means our astral potion will be stronger than ever. And that means I'm just gonna choose a giant mob, and then I'll throw the astral.
a potion on it. Da -da 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 crazy giant astro mob. But before I spawn in a giant mob, let's see what Smirky's gonna spawn in. And wait, look at this. Smirky spawned in a literal giant mutant beetle insect. I think he might have had the same idea as me, just to spawn in a giant super cool mob. And this thing is just so cool that I wonder what on earth this is gonna turn into. It's probably gonna turn into something really OP. And he's throwing the potions. <laughs> and oh my gosh, it turned into a giant pink alien. Oh my gosh, this thing is so big and so powerful. This is really bad for me because I don't know if I'm gonna be able to counter this guy. Well, I'm just gonna have to try my hardest and spawn in the best thing I can. And for the mob I'm gonna spawn in, it actually requires me to put down a bunch of water everywhere. So I'm gonna make a big circle of water just like this. And boom, this looks good. Now we're just gonna spawn the mob right there. And look at this. We got a giant whale. This guy is so cool. And look, he's just spinning in circles because he's super happy to be here. Well, you better be happy, Mr. Whale, because you are to turn into something super, super OP. I mean, this guy is literally bigger than some of the astral variants of mobs we've spawned in. So that means when we throw the astral potion, if he grows to be super big, oh my gosh, he'll probably be bigger than the entire arena. And I think we need to start throwing this astral potion on the whale. And we're probably gonna need to get a lot of these astral potions because this thing is massive. So I guess let's just start by throwing some on the front of it and then going across it and throwing it all along here. And I think this is gonna work. And what on earth did this thing turn into? Look at this monster! It literally made the whale have power so it could fly. And that's not even to mention how much bigger this thing got. This is so cool. And look at it. It literally has this pink stuff. This is definitely better than that giant pink alien that Smirky has. And um, Smirky, how is your army going? Because my thing is so, so crazy. Okay, my thing is probably crazier, Cardi. You think your thing is crazier than mine? Wait, how big is your guy? Like, how many blocks tall do you think he is? Well, uh, let me count, actually. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Six, seven, eight, nine blocks tall. Nine blocks tall, Smirky. That is so trash. My guy is probably like 30 blocks tall. 30 blocks tall? What kind of mob did he spawn in? Like a skyscraper? <laughs> Smirky, it would be a skyscraper if it was turned sideways. And anyway, Smirky, are you ready to drop these walls? Yes, I am, Cardi. Well, then let's go. And the walls have dropped. And do you see the whale that I spawned in? What is that thing, Cardi? That is it is actually like a skyscraper if it was sideways. I know, Smirky. It is huge. I literally just started with a whale and threw the astral potion on it, and I think it's coming to kill your mob. Oh, no. Oh, no. That's not good. That's not good. What is my mob gonna do, though? Because I don't know if my mob can fly. Yeah, Smirky. I don't think it's gonna do anything in wait. Smirky, what just happened? Did you throw an astral potion on your guy or something? No, I didn't. It literally disappeared. Wait, Smirky. I think that's my whale's attacks. It literally just did that. No. No way it did that. That is insane, Cardi. I know that is so insane. And I think that means we need to move on to the last round, Smirky. And it's going to be the most insane round yet. All right, Cardi. Well, in that case, I'm going to spawn in the most insane mob yet, too. Let's go. And here we go. We're on the last round of the mob battle. And what on earth is happening to the arena? It is literally all the astral blocks. I think that means this potion is going to be way, way stronger than it ever, ever has. Has been. This is going to be the craziest mob battle round ever. And anyways, let's just see what Smirky's gonna spawn in and what? He's spawning in a bunch of iron golems. Okay, that is pretty smart by him because these are probably gonna turn into the most insane golem ever. And it looks like he's throwing the potions. And oh my gosh, look at what these iron golems turned into. I think they fused together to create these giant monstrosity astro monsters. And look, they're literally poking through the wall onto my side, mister. Why are you doing that? You need to go back on your side, but anyways, let me just spot in a mob and we're going to create the craziest mob ever. And just because I know this potion is gonna be so powerful, we're just gonna spawn in a tiny little ender my mob. And this is one of the smallest mobs in Minecraft, so it should turn into something super big even though it's really small. Just to prove that I will always win the mob battles because I'm cheating with one-way glass. And anyways, let's just throw the potion on this guy and let's 
to go. And oh my gosh, what did that thing turn into? What is this? This is a massive Endermine mob, and I don't even know what this is. But it looks like it's a giant Ender mob. It has a bunch of purple spots on it, and yeah, this thing is definitely gonna be super duper OP. Anyway, since our mob is so much bigger and so much better than Smirky's mobs, I think we can ask him if he's ready. And Smirky, are you ready to drop the walls? Yes, I am, Gordy. Let's go. And here we go, Smirky. And do you see what mob I spawned in? What is that, Gordy? That is a giant, like, Titan Enderman. Yes, I know it is, Smirky. And wait, I think I just killed all your golems instantly. They all just flopped on the ground. What? Let's go. That was the easiest win ever. They dropped this purple thing. I think I can use this on you, Smirky, because I just won. Whoa, watch where you're using that, Cardi. But how did you win every round in a row? I'm sorry, Smirky. I actually have something to admit to you. Oh, what is it? Well, you see this block I'm holding right here? This is one-way glass, and that giant bedrock wall in the middle was entirely made out of this one-way glass. One-way glass? So on my side, it was bedrock, and then on your side, it was glass. Are you kidding? Me? Yeah, Smirky, sorry about cheating, but I'll give you the win since I feel bad. All right, that sounds awesome. Let's go. Let's go. Thanks, everyone, for watching the video. And make sure to subscribe to the channel. Bye, guys. Click the video on the screen, too. Click the video.